Now we're going to take a look at inverse functions. First, remember y equals x plus 3 is a function. x is the independent variable. y depends on it. If x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3. If x is equal to 1, y is equal to 4, and so on. Uh, what I'm going to do first is graph this function. We could do this again. We'll draw a little chart here just for formality's sake. If x is 0, y is 3. If x is 1, y is 4. Let's plot this. 0, comma, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, comma, 4 means go to the right 1, and then go up 4 units. Connect the dots, and this is what we have. This is our picture of x, y is equal to x plus 3. What is an inverse function? An inverse function is the same function flipped over this y equals x line. Think of it as a mirror. When you look into a mirror, you essentially see the inverse, the reflection of yourself. That's what an inverse is. We're going to take this line here, this graph here, and we're going to pick it up and literally flip it over this dotted line, which is the mirror, and it will look like a mirror image. It will look exactly the same, but just reversed, just like looking into a mirror. So how do we find the inverse? Once we do, we could plot it and see that this is the reflection of this. Step number one, switch x and y. That's it. All you got to do is switch the x and y, which is really the essential feature of an inverse. All the x's and y values are switched. Solve for y. We know how to do the algebra already. I'm just going to quickly write y is equal to x minus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides and you get y is equal to x minus 3. Step 3 is not really a step, but it is important to do. Change the notation. Do not write this as y. y is equal to x plus 3. It cannot be equal to x minus 3. We are just using this y here for convenience to help us with the algebra. The correct notation is y inverse. That is not y to the negative first power. It is read y inverse. So here is the inverse function of the original function. Let's plot that. We have y inverse is equal to x minus 3. Set up a little table. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 3. When x is equal to uh, 1, y is equal to 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. Let's plot these points. When x is 0, y is negative 3. When x is 1, y is negative 2. When we connect these dots, we're going to have a line which looks like, if you were to pick this up and flip it over this mirror, it would land exactly on the opposite side. This is, how, this is what inverse functions are, and this is how you find them.